Hi again. Today I thought to introduce a method for making base sewn together meshes. It's ideal for clothing, so people who know how to make seams are going to make quick work of this. But since I don't know any of that, I'll make a pillow. The tool we're going to use is a bit lesser known. It's called sewing springs and it's situated inside the cloth modifier. What it does at its core is use edges on a mesh to act as if it were a thread and then begins to pull as if someone was using a needle to tighten it. It's really cool. 2.79 is the software version since 2.8 is sort of buggy and I couldn't get it to work. But if you're watching this in the future, uh, maybe it works. To get started, what's needed is a pillow shape. I'll do a rectangle because I'm super creative. Subdivide trying to make all polygons as square as possible. We'll give that a fairly high amount of subdivisions. Then selecting all, extrude. Switch to face select and choose the edge loop in the middle. And this part's important, delete only faces which should leave the edges. These will act as the string portion of the modifier. Edge select all those and go into the object data tab. Make a new vertex group and call it something. I'll call it string and assign all edges. And I'll add another vertex group for one vertex only at the very middle top. This will act as a placeholder for the cloth so it doesn't move around during the simulation. It'll make sense in a bit. The shortcut key for making groups is Control G. Tabbing out of edit mode, go to Object, Transform, and Origin to Geometry, and clear its location. And this is our pillow. Well, not yet, but sort of. Lastly, before heading into the simulation, add another object, this time a force object by the name of Force, and place it at the center of the pillow. It's going to essentially push it out from the inside. Now add a cloth modifier under the Physics tab. Under cloth, place the pin vertex group in the pin section. This is what we use when we need to make some vertices stay stationary in a cloth sim, like in curtains or something. Next, under cloth collision, check the self collision tab. This enables the pillow to collide with itself. And finally we get to sewing springs. Just add the string group here and set the force to 1. Or try some experiments of your own. Uh, but remember to save. Lastly, under cloth field weights, set the gravity to zero. Field weights in any category affect the physics. Speaking of which, select the force object and increase its power to around 30. Then play the simulation and watch the magic happen. Stop the sim when satisfied, apply the cloth modifier, and the only thing left to take note of is that the vertices are still detached. So in edit mode, remove doubles, and if it's a bit stiff around the edges, the vertices can be smoothed with the W menu. And that's that. It can now be sculpted or further modified, and until next time.